Hello everyone, Creative Venus here. And today we have created this beautiful business diagram using Paint 3D and Microsoft PowerPoint. I hope you will like it and look at this amazing animation. And this is very easy and we will cover all the steps that are required to create such beautiful diagram and you can use this kind of style to create multiple or different styles of PowerPoint slides using Paint 3D. So just think of amazing concepts and create beautiful diagrams. So before moving further, let's learn about Envato Elements. So Envato Elements provides you more than 32,000 PowerPoint templates here. And if you are more into Google Slides or Keynotes, again the story is same. Here is the list of amazing PowerPoint templates that you can use. Just download, fill the content, change the images and start delivering your PowerPoint presentations. And Vardo Elements is a creative library of not only just PowerPoint templates. If you need graphics, graphic templates, sound effects, music, video templates, stock videos, photo, font, add-ons. And if you are into websites, then WordPress templates, HTML templates, 3D work, CMS templates. And here you can see the list is endless. And one of the most important part of Envato Elements are the Premiere Pro templates, which are really amazing. If you look here, these are some beautiful Premiere Pro templates, which you can use in your videos and enhance your videos to show different styles, intros, lower thirds, text, and you can show images in beautiful templates. So all this comes under a unique package of Envato Elements subscription. All you need to do is just subscribe and enjoy unlimited downloads. And if we talk about licensing, the licensing is very simple it's just one simple commercial license for all of these items so you can subscribe to envardo elements now and get unlimited downloads all you need to do is just click on the link provided in the video description and get this amazing subscription so let's start with paint 3d you have to search paint 3d in your windows and you will get this kind of interface and here you have to select this 3d object it's very easy just drag it from the mouse and start drawing this shape add it color and select the color you want so I'm gonna pick this color and simply just copy press ctrl C and then ctrl V here on the PowerPoint slide it will take a couple of seconds and here you go now you can rotate it as per the requirements let's rotate it like this and place it here so the base is ready and let's design a background and you can do it later as well but for now let's design it first so we are using radial background for now and now we need to create a cube for that you need to select this cube and draw it while holding shift key so that the height and width is same and pick a light color press ok and change it to polished metal And now we need to add a sticker so this is how stickers are placed but we will use a custom sticker here when I say custom I mean which is something we have downloaded and as per the content we want to showcase so for today's video I have used the logos for social media networks so let's first insert this Facebook logo And we will place this logo on this cube so I was just checking the options here what kind of options we have but you just simply have to drag and click on this tick mark and then rotate the cube to the left and as you know the cube has six sides so we have to paste this logo on all of the six sides so again insert this 
logo and place it here and you have to repeat the step rotate it by 90 degrees or minus 90 degrees if you are rotating it towards the left again insert this logo and place it at the center and you have to repeat the steps six times and if you see the logo is already present on this right panel now we have to place the logo on the top and the bottom part which is pretty easy you have to rotate it like downwards by 90 degrees go to stickers and you can find the logo here just reduce the size from the corners place it at the center and click on this tick mark and rotate it twice so this is the bottom part of this cube again go to stickers insert this logo and place it at the center so you can place any image you want on this 3d element create any 3d element and paste any image you want so our cube is ready rotate it either vertically or horizontally and you can see the logo is visible simply control press ctrl c to copy the cube and paste it here it will take some time because 3d elements are heavy so here you go now you can adjust the size and rotation and let's place it at the top right area and you can rotate it very easily now just delete this and pick another cube and this time we are using Instagram logo and you have to again repeat the steps like we did for the Facebook logo paste this Instagram logo on all the sides of this cube so the steps are same as we did for the Facebook logo and you know this paint 3d has a great potential because it's very easy and second is you can create any item you want of course many options are not present as compared to any conventional 3d software but for quick shapes and to make your presentation more powerful this paint 3d can be very handy all it needs is your imagination and creativity and you can also if you want to you know try more advanced tools you can try blender blender is a free and open source 3d program which you can download it's free and you can learn 3d elements here and you can design some advanced 3d elements and then paste those 3d elements in powerpoint to create more amazing slides so it's all up to you how much you want to learn and build some amazing products so here our second cube is also ready so so it's very easy as you have just seen here all it needed was a cube and then just paste the image you want to showcase and similarly you can design rest of the cubes which I ha haven't shown in this video just to save time and you know the steps are same so there is no point showing all the cubes so this is how you can design and once all the cubes are on the table then you need to just adjust these cubes and you can you know, change the size and rotation as per the view you want so the cubes on the right are smaller and the cubes are on the left are much larger in view 
uh, I'm just trying to create a what you call uh, depth of field so this is how you can design these amazing concepts now we need to add the animation which is pretty easy but before that let's use a darker background because I think it will look good much better in a, on a darker background like this one so this is how you can adjust the background but we will add a nice image in the background which I will not cover in this video that's a homework for you now go to animation Spain and select all these cubes and add this swing animation and go to effects option click on auto reverse and click on repeat until end of the slide press ok now all these will run in loop Now to create some random behavior, randomly select any of the cube and change the effects option. Like you can change the direction for each of these cubes and also you can change the duration and here you can find lots of you know options like intensity, direction and amount and rotation axis and in fact you can change the animation as well for some of the cubes and let's check the output so this is how the cubes will animate Now let's try to use a different animation on couple of cubes let's use this jump and turn look, look at this this looks amazing go to effects options and see if anything needs to be done here click on auto reverse and rest is fine and you can apply similar animation on one more cube So I've applied this turnable animation on this YouTube logo cube. Go to effects option, click on order reverse, check the timing, repeat until end of slide, press OK and it should start with previous. Now let's check the output. So as you can see the animation is working fine and it looks interesting and till now if you think everything is very easy to learn and you have learned something new click on this red subscribe button below this video it will really help us and we will create more such beautiful videos and concepts like this and now let's add this animation on one more cube and here you can adjust the duration as well And let's check the output here so this looks really nice and every cube is behaving differently and this is all we need and start with previous it's very important and this is the final output so once everything is done you can create a very nice background add content and title if you want and you can polish the slide and look at this this is really amazing i hope you will love it like it and share it so please subscribe join the membership to support us it means a lot to us and keep watching our videos go to our page on youtube and our channel on youtube and 
watch and download these amazing slides. I hope you will like it. So we will see you guys in our next video. Till then, bye bye, enjoy and keep watching.